Good to see you somewhere last week. So I'm just at Tent City here and I uh, saw Shelby. We haven't seen each other for a long time. How's it going? I'm good, good. Awesome. Yeah, I just want you to tell me about these wonderful things that you've been telling me about that you folks have been doing at, at uh, Choices. Choices, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, I eat three squares and some. Um, uh, I, they've actually moved me into a room now as opposed to my tent. Um, I don't actually mind the tent, but uh, the room is awesome. I got all decked out with Christmas lights and that. Uh, I do all my artwork in there. We just had an art show last weekend yeah, with heard about um, it. most of the residents are amazing talent. So tell me what your council did. Your council made changes there as residents. These are the things I'm very curious about. Well, there's, they, don't, they don't micromanage us. I'm, I'm hoping to find more um, people actually working with people that have more stronger drug usage and want the help to detox um, for me personally they've given me confidence and they've been there uplifting for me um, but the other day I didn't you know I have a bad day just like everyone else and I flipped over an 80 cup coffee urn and didn't get my um, strike against me which is kind of odd we do have a, a three strike policy over there um, three strikes are out Right. And uh, and you pretty much have to be doing heroin while stabbing someone to do it, from what we've been told. So, right. You know. um, I heard, though, that someone turned a table, but they got a strike. Yeah, he, so. unfortunately, he uh, turns out to be a good friend of mine, and I've been advocating for him to come back. Good for you. Um, he got caught in the middle of the birthing of the three strikes. Yeah. The mural, and so, personally, I think that was just unfair, and not to mention the, the two strikes that he did get. And if I really, at this point, any of us had done the same thing, we would probably wouldn't have gotten a strike. So I also understand that you you kind of want to form a society. It sounds like maybe you want to form a, a family, a community who has a, a, a microhouse village together. Yeah, I mean, if, if yeah. Choices doesn't start listening to the people that are actually living there or who are supposedly benefiting from what they're offering us, mm -hmm. um, then yeah, I, I think we need to band together and make our voice heard. Yeah, so the limit, is there a limit of how long you can stay? Um, no, right now we have the extension to the end of um, March, I believe, and I think you're there as long as you need to. Yeah. Um, I personally I'm not ready to leave and move on to my own place. I don't think anybody should be moving into their own apartment, just shoved into an apartment and been, that's how it is. No, you need to be transitioned. I'm sorry. Yeah. You, you, otherwise, I'm going to fuck it up. I'm not going to pay my rent and tell them. And we'll start from square B. Square one second. Again. One second. Think of this idea that's happened here. We have a, a sick society has formed and they want to be an eco village. Mm -hmm. um, they want to sort of create an eco village and beside it a tent city because there's a lot of people who are traumatized, PTSD, years of drug use, yep. and, and they want to be in a thin tent so that people can hear them, They're, they, they want to be together so that they can help each other out, and then transfer, uh, prepare those that group for housing, so that yeah. would be a three-stage thing, they want eco-village, uh, tent I, city. Well, and I, think it's like, I think, first of all, I mean, I was one of the first five or six tents when t uh, Tent City started. I understand, this is like a family, they built roots here, so, um, this is something that if you take them out of what's comfortable for them, mm -hmm. I, I think that's just going to make them go two steps backwards. Well, they do. They are looking for spots, and they yeah. do want to have many tent cities. They do not they do, want... People need to know they don't want to actually just stay here forever. No. This isn't... Yeah. For, first of all, homeless people, for the most part, are the most resilient, resourceful people I have ever met in my life. And mm -hmm. um, I think if you just gave them the basics of tools, of, it, to give us the, the, the things to build our house, mm -hmm. to give us what we want, mm -hmm. to be happy, to be the family that we are continuously to be, just in a more comfortable, you know, humane way yeah. of doing it, then have at it. You would thrive. I think so you have at it. a tenancy agreement um, is what people are asking for in this building that uh, Rich Coleman has offered to throw people into. Some people m really might want to, and it would be really great if they can get a tenancy agreement and be able to have uh, family over, be able to have a partner over, um, and not have to sign this extra special agreement that says if you are caught to be doing any kind of drugs or whatever, you can no, be this, evicted. Yeah, so it makes the tenancy yeah. agreement it makes the tenancy agreement null and void. Yeah. So I had to sign that for CRD housing that I'm in right now, mm -hmm. and I signed it and I wrote down on it under duress, right under my signature. However, I'm lucky and privileged to be in CRD housing because yeah. they're not bullies. They actually take care of us. Yeah. So that's why... I think people you know. need to make it clear as to what they want for, for their tenancy agreement. If you're expected to pay rent, I'm sorry, no one's going to tell me how to live it. Yeah. You yeah. know, I, I want to have my family as part of my recovery. Um, and uh, if I want to have my mother over for dinner, I'm sorry, no one's going to tell me that I can't. Yeah, and know? don't divide everybody. Some people, when they go into rehab and... You know, harm reduction includes detox and rehab. Mm -hmm. Some people, when they go in, they have to cut it off altogether. Some people can't. They need yeah. their family. They need their people. They can't just there leave. There has to be know? a transition. Yeah.
there has to be a transition. I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah, if there's no transition, then, then you, you may as well just start from square B, square A again yeah. and go back to doing drugs, being on the streets and start all over again. What do you think about that plan then, about like an eco-village at the 10th city transitioning to housing? Yeah, right now. Yeah. See? If that's what See? makes them happy, that's what keeps the circle going. All the power to you. I'm going to get that copy to you for the Thank forming you. your own society with your group. You have a family there right yeah, on? Yeah, Good for you. Good to see you again too. Yeah, man. you too. Take care. Right, thanks. <laughs>